What's up guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig. We're going to be talking about the charts today. Um, I was going to go over some altcoins that you guys have suggested in the comments below, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. I don't have a lot of time, but I did want to get a quick video out since it's been a while. Let's take a look at the price action and what's going on right now, what I'm expecting, and uh, let me know what you think afterwards. So that sounds good. Make sure you smash the thumbs up. Leave your comments below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's take a look at what I believe is happening. Like I showed you guys in the Amazon.com bubble, uh, the three tops, and then obviously a huge collapse. A bubble pop, in other words. So I do believe that's what we're going to see. Could there be one more high? Definitely there is a possibility. Um, I think the likelihood is low, but we'll see what happens. No matter what happens, I do believe we are going to see a huge financial crisis a huge Great Depression style crash in all markets. I'll go over that more in tomorrow's video, but let's focus on Vi blah, Bitcoin in today's video. So if you guys are interested in trading, definitely check out Prime XBT. They're a sponsor of the channel. Link down below. By using my link, you can get a 20% deposit bonus up to $7,000. So if you was to put in $35,000, you'd get a $7,000 bonus and a 25% off commissions so if that sounds good definitely check them out i do believe they are one of the best platforms out there and you can trade traditional markets on it also instead of having to switch from exchange to exchange so let's take a look at the count i had here now every time bitcoin goes up you get the people that come out and say you were wrong this and that but they're not paying attention to how markets move right so this was what i've drawn out months and months ago right I gave you guys this short zone in May. We've hit it three times so far. Would have been a great short every time if you would have shorted there. None of this is financial advice, but as you can see, um, understanding how charts play out is a lot better than thinking Bitcoin is going to 100,000 every day, right? So let's take a look at where we're at. If you watched the last video from last week, right, we, we took our Fibonacci retracement from this top of wave two down to this bottom right and i told you to watch these levels for rejection if you look at the fib levels right we bounce around on each one of them for a while we're back above our 0.5 fib right now right so our rejection area is going to be this 6623 which we got rejected at over here if we do get above that then i'm looking for this 65 possibly up to this high volume note at 66.8 but again unless we get above this short zone and open and close some dailies above i do think there is a great possibility that the top is in over here um be careful out there you know if you think it's going to continue up just remember what i'm saying and keep in mind that we could have topped and this could get very ugly uh very fast now, considering the traditional markets getting one more little pump that I had talked about also on my last video saying if they can somehow pull something out of their hat, which obviously they are, um, mainstream media being the cause of that, um, they can say whatever they want, whether it be truthful or not, to make people do what they want. So keep that in mind while you're paying attention to what's going on in the markets, right? So anyways, I still believe our next stop to the downside is going to be somewhere in between the 43.3 and 40,300 right for this being wave three and then we get a bounce back up for wave four um not going back above the 53.5 for those of you that pay attention and understand this without just looking at what the price is and thinking you know something i appreciate you guys for those that don't get it i hope you do some at some point in your life Anyways, um, and then the this being a macro one, two, three, this low being somewhere around the 27 range before it bounce up, and then a continuation to the downside. As you guys know, my target has been and remains $3,500 to $9,700 Bitcoin for the bottom of this market. Even if we do see one more push up, I see that coming. So am I buying any Bitcoin to hold? Absolutely not. I am not um, trading it. Yes. Buying it to hold it. No, not yet, guys. There's a huge opportunity coming in all markets. And how do you 
So everybody's saying get out of cash, right? Do what you will. I believe stacking cash is the way to go because when markets crash, that cash buys things at a very low price. That's my plan. Doesn't have to be yours. Let's see what happens. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Definitely catch tomorrow's video. I'll go over the altcoins um, that get most requested in the comments down below. So make sure you make your request. And I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. And uh, have a great one. Love you guys. Make sure you smash that like. I'm out.